What's going on guys? Me, David, you're back for another shave. And you guys have been seeing all the hype. You guys have been seeing all the fucking crazy videos of Junior and Chris going back and forth about it. And today, I got the soap now too. Bam, today, we're going to be throwing up clown fruit. So, very, very interesting scent. I was very, I was almost worried because um, a lot of talk about this soap. Uh, Junior loves it. If you guys aren't familiar with it, me and Junior are, real, are, are good buddies. Uh, here in the community, talk all the time, talk daily, and I really wanted, um, I really didn't want to rain on this fucking parade, so, um, I was like, fuck, man, it's coming in, I hope it's good, I hope it's, hope it's good, before I get into the scent, um, let me show you the rest of the gear that I'm using today, oh, and, bam, give you guys a little bit of an opportunity if you want to screenshot that, there we go, Enough with that nose. I didn't buy that nose. That was sent by fucking Douglas. So there we are. Today, I'm going to be using the Martinez Blade Razor. Matches real well with the with the yellow label. Hey, maybe that could be the Clown Fruit Razor. We're talking about what to name it. That could be the Clown Fruit Razor right there. I don't know, maybe. And the brush. This brush was about fucking three years in the making right here. Bam. This baby right here, I picked this up on the very first flea market I ever went to, probably about four years ago. I restored it myself, hand sanded the whole deal, polished it up, everything. And I just never put a knot into it. It's been sitting around the house for years. And finally, I got a couple knots in from China. This is the Uomo Manchuria knot. We'll see how it is. This That's the chubby version. I didn't mean to get the chubby version. I don't know if I picked the wrong one or if they sent me the wrong one, but that chubby version um, is, it's a, it's a tiny knot. It's, it's much shorter. And actually, that I think of it, I think I did um, get the chubby version because I did want it to be short because just in case it wasn't dense enough, I didn't want it to be floppy. There we go, yeah. I remember my thought process, it just clicked, bam. So I did do that. So I do have the puck blooming right here. I do blue most of my soaps unless they are too soft. This one, I believe, is the CK6 formula. Possibly, maybe, I'm not sure. I think so. I can't even fucking tell. Oh, oops. It's early. I'm not used to doing the videos in the morning. So, we're going to go ahead and load this baby up. I didn't mind trying out the new knot today with this. So, because we all know CK6 is good. So, if something wonky happens with the lather, you know it's most likely the brush and not the soap. I use a lot of uh, Phoenix <sighs> Phoenix shaving products here on the channel. Load it up nice and heavy. A very lumpy pour. Uh, I'm gonna tell. I'm not too thrilled that. I know everything gets hand scooped in there, but I'm not too too, too, too a fan of that wonky pour it's gonna take a while for it to smooth out but whatever that's that's just the picking there so that should be enough again it's a little it's a little knot uh, typically most of the knots that i've been using probably for the better part of the last couple years are that 26 millimeter this is a 24 millimeter and even with that i had to widen the hole uh pretty considerably let's go Get this all in. So, now that I'm lathering up, we can talk about, yeah, this, <laughs> this is not as nice. I'm definitely happy with where I set it. This hole is deeper than I realized. And I actually stuck two pennies in there. Make sure I epoxy those in with a good amount of epoxy. And then set them out on top of that. Because otherwise, it would have been like that much hair popping out. But definitely has an appropriate amount of backbone. I'm definitely happy with where I set this knot. This handle is super comfortable. Love, love, love this handle. So, the scent. What this really smells like to me, root beer. 
It smells a lot like root beer. To me specifically, it smells like those root beer bottle cap candies. Now, I'm one of the few people I know that loves drinking root beer. So the scent, I definitely, I do enjoy the scent. It's <sighs> Swedish, so like not, not Swedish, like from Sweden, like sweet-ish, kind of sweet, kind of spicy. Um, you got kind of like that, uh, that anise type, type, type of smell. There's absinthe in, in this, so I think it comes from that. And yeah, it, to, to me, it smells like root beer bottle caps. So I do like it. Is this something that I would wear like, oh, I've got a party, quinceañera's going on, a wedding, and I'm going to throw this on? No. But I do enjoy the scent for the purposes of kind of enjoying the ambiance in here. But this isn't going to be a scent that I would typically wear out. Maybe on a weekend, if I'm hanging around the house, definitely can use it. But just smelling, you guys know, gourmand scents really isn't my thing, but I do like the scent. It's not, it's definitely not sweet to it offend me. It's not sweet like that at all. It has some sweetness to it, so it's cool. Again, root beer. I'm getting this shave in before work. I'm starting work a couple hours late today. I got a little something different that I'm doing at work. Right now, as we speak, uh, Junior's day off, so he actually has the room opened up in Lather and Blade. So after I'm done filming this, I'm gonna jump onto that. This Martinez raisin, the shit dude. And one good thing that happened with me getting this razor, I, I've seen a few people in videos and in posts talk about using about thirds of the blade when you have one of these smiling blades. So I'm happy to see that, that little bit of a tip helps some people out. Bam. Today I'm actually trying to get through the shave because fucking they were telling me to hurry up. I don't think this is the CK6 formula. I don't believe so. I think this may be the regular Crown King form formula. It doesn't say. It just doesn't feel as dense as usual. So, I'm not sure. Me and my son AJ, we were talking, uh, we were talking, what's it called, yesterday. And the, some soaps came in. And he's like, what's your friend's name, Douglas? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, yeah. I like it. I like his soaps best. When when I'm not using his soaps, I can tell. Um, these are the easiest to use, and I just like them. So, Douglas, AJ, you're his favorite soap maker. Congratulations. I just drink an energy drink, so I'm a little shaky. So, forgive me on that. I got a nice heaping helping of caffeine in the morning. I still haven't done a video with it, but in the other restaurant where AJ shaves, um, he's using a more immortal peach right now. And I still haven't gotten to use that. It's 
Dude, this razor is just so much fun to use, dude. I've always been a fan of smiling blade. Just always, always have. That blade is that blade shape, the profile, everything is just exactly what I look for in a razor, man. Great. So definitely you can tell this does not does not hold as much lather as I am accustomed to with some of the bigger stuff, especially with the low loft. It also limits how much can be held in there. But we got through all three passes here. I still got some kind of just all over the place here. And I'm just proud of myself, man. You know, uh, being, uh, I don't know, lately I've just been inspired to be fiddling with stuff. So a lot of little projects that I needed to be doing haven't gotten finished. Hand setting that, that razor I, I just bought. Uh, uh, fixing the point on the Philharmonica. Making sure this had a nice little final polish and before... Uh, but it's not any, I just been fiddling with stuff and it's been cool. If you guys are interested, the whole line of clown fruit products are available. You can find them in the Phoenix website. If I can remember, I'll drop the links down below in the in the description. It's supposed to be 99 degrees today. And it's already hot. I'm starting to sweat. Which is irritating because I just got out of the shower about an hour ago. So to be sweating already is kind of a... That's frustrating. You feel a little unclean. I really flew through this, <laughs> this shape. Absolutely beautiful, dude. This fucking razor just flies through everything. So, I'm going to go ahead, wash this off, and get into the final thoughts. All right. I am back. Drying myself off with the Craig McDonald towel. Whew-wee. Man, so, one advantage that I see from using one of these smaller knots, I don't make a mess with the lather. So... The last video, you guys didn't see it when I rinsed off, but I literally found lather back here. Somehow, I flicked lather and it landed on my back. This one, real clean. You see, I don't have a lot of wet spots on my shirt. It really kept everything controlled and contained. So definitely, if there's a situation uh, where I don't want to make a mess of things, these these smaller knots, definitely an advantage of it. Um, still, I think 26 is probably my sweet spot, but 24s are very, very enjoyable. Clown fruit. You guys already know what to expect in terms of performance from uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. It's fantastic. My favorite vegan base. You guys know this. Um, the scent, root beer. To me, it smells like root beer. I enjoy it. It's definitely nice for the ambiance of the shave. It fills up the whole restroom with the scent. I like it. Again, it's not something that I personally would wear out because I'm just not, I don't know. The thought of being a fat guy and smelling like a food item when you're out in the streets, I don't know, makes me a little uncomfortable. Probably quite frankly, maybe if I was a, a a skinny fit dude, maybe it wouldn't bother me so much. But yeah, just the concept of smelling uh, food ish uh, and being out, I, I don't know. I think it's kind of a bad look. It doesn't help any. So, uh, <laughs> so that that's the situation. With that being said, I'm going to work, man. I'm gonna have some fun with it. We're gonna go ahead and use it. I don't. I'm not around too many people at work, so it's not too big of a deal. The aftershave itself, now that I'm putting it on, I catch more of the woodsy and like that anise, that anise note. Um, not anus, please. I know there's going to be a joke in there somewhere about saying anus. Um, but you know, that, that, that anise and woodsiness, I get that much more um, from that aftershave. Hmm. That's kind of nice. Shit. Hmm. Okay. So even though I enjoyed the soap, I think I might actually like the aftershave a bit better. Holy shit. The scent does come off a bit different. When you smell it from the bottle, aside from the alcohol smell, it smells pretty consistently, but putting it on, yeah, I'm getting more of a woodsy, woods, wood and anise scent as opposed to 
the root beer that I smell because when I smell it from the tub, complete root beer, plain and simple. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This one, the aftershave, hmm, comes on a little different. Definitely interesting to see this, interested in seeing the dry down, see how that affects everything. But you know, all in all, that's cool. The restored brush, Martinez blade, excellent shave. Good way to start the morning. I definitely see why people like shaving in the morning. I'm usually a nighttime shaver, so probably not something I'll normally do in my routine, but it's actually pretty enjoyable. Pretty enjoyable. So if you guys have made it to this point of the video, you know, damn well, I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you for starting my morning off with me. Um, it's a crazy world. Love one another. Take care of one another. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll catch you on the next shave. Oh, and Junior is the, clean, the king of clown fruit. Sorry, Chris. But Junior's a king. He has that fucking holographic label. Douglas, you son of a bitch. Look at it. I'm getting, I'm getting off of a tangent. Take care, guys. Catch up. Now I'll catch you on the next shave.